Hi Scorpio, this is Teresa from Tarot by T. I'm back and thank you for your patience. I'm glad to be back. So this this video, I'm changing the format a little bit. I'm going to do a timeless reading. What does Scorpio need to know at this moment in time? And this is for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising. And for whenever you see this video, if it comes across your feed, it's right for you. And the message seems to resonate. It's right for you. So I'm not going to do astrology in this video. I'm going to do that in a different format um, later on. So for now, it's just tarot and what does Scorpio need to know at this moment in time. So let's begin. I've already cleansed the space and shuffled ahead of time a little bit just to save some time in the video. Okay, what does Scorpio need to know at this moment in time? What's coming up for Scorpio in the near future? What messages or message? And the topic will be determined by the cards. It could be love, it could be career, um, finance, whatever comes up in the reading I will talk about. And so we'll let the cards determine what the reading needs to be about. What do you need to know? What does Scorpio need to know at this moment in time? The Four of Pentacles. The Five of Wands. The Nine of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune. The Lovers. The Six of Wands, the King of Swords, the Four of Swords, the Devil, and the Nine of Pentacles. And the card at the bottom of the deck is the Ten of Wands. Okay, so the Four of Pentacles in the present, this is a card of so you've been focused on financial security. I feel like it's also a card of holding on to something because it offers security to you. Four of Pentacles can sometimes mean that you're trying to control the outcome and you need to just relax and go with the flow. Sometimes it could be that you're holding on to something you think you need when something else might be better if you could just let go. I feel like you're going to be making some choices this month um, in, the, in the near future, next couple of weeks. Let me see if I have... Definitely within a month. So the Five of Wands is crossing this. I feel like there's a lot of competition around you. A lot of... Um, you may feel like you're working in a situation where people are just not working together as a team. Everyone's, it's like every man for himself. So it could be a toxic work environment and you're having to battle with other people to hold your ground. And then it can also mean internal conflict when you're trying to figure out what, because I feel like you're going to be making a choice between two paths coming up in the future. And you have to decide, do I stay where I'm at? Do I leave? Do I choose this? Do I choose that? Because there are going to be there is going to be a, a moment where you have to use discur uh, discrimination or discernment. You have to figure out what's real, what's not real in my life. What can I believe and what can I not, you know, what do I not have to, what, what do I, how can I separate what's real from what's not real? Truth from lies. Because I feel that that's coming in. You have the Nine of Cups in the reading. So you have been getting... Things have been going good for you in the past, in the recent past. There has been a change in fortune. So if you were, I, and I feel like um, with that change of fortune fortune, and with that things are changing, you're, you've also been working really hard. You have the Ten of Wands here. You're carrying this heavy burden. You may feel like, I don't know, if I'm just, well, it's all work and I, I just can't keep this pace. So I feel like success is coming 
and recognition. But, and you've been working really hard, but you've been also battling competition at the same time. Um, it hasn't been an easy path. You feel like there's a, a battle at every turn. Every time you try to do something, you've got to fight your way through it because you don't feel like supported in your environment. The Wheel of Fortune, though, in the recent past, things are changing. So if you've been going through a difficult time, I feel like you're coming out of that, but the battle isn't done yet. You still, there's something that you need to release. You may need to take some time off to think. Maybe you've been working so hard and you've been so stressed out that you don't have time to, think, to even think or know what you want. The lovers is coming up in the future with the six of wands. The lovers, in a love, you know, it could mean a, a connection, a strong connection, but it can also mean a choice between two paths. And the six of wands is a victory card. So you're going to be experiencing some type of victory. I feel like it's going to be more career related, um, where people are going to say, you know what, this person does a great job. And you're going to start getting accolades. You're going to be getting recognized for the work that you do. Not everyone might be happy with that news because I'm seeing in this card, I don't know if you can see it, there's a woman in the card looking down on this guy almost with like envy and resentment because this person's being celebrated and they're not. So don't worry about what other people think or do. If someone's not happy with your success, you don't care. You don't need them. You know, let them be miserable. Focus on you and the positive. Focus on going in a positive direction. Now, with the lovers, there is a choice. There's always a choice with the lovers. And the choice is, there's two paths. Um, do I stay? Do I go? Do I take this path? Do I take that path? And you have to really know what you want before you can make that choice. Because once you make the decision, once you make the choice that's offered to you from the lovers, you can't go back and undo it. You can't go back and say, oh... I made a mistake. I want to go back to the old thing. No, the old thing won't be there. So I don't think that you're going to make a bad choice. I think that the choice is going to be a good one. You just have to really know what you want and you have to let, let go of the need to control the outcome. Because a lot of times, you know, we want guarantees. Well, if I choose that, um, am I going to be guaranteed? There are no guarantees. You make your success as you go along. And, you know, we make this, if you don't make a decision, that's a choice, too. So you could lose out on an opportunity from not making a choice. You could say, well, I'm not going to choose because I'm afraid of the outcome. But then there's going to be another outcome from not choosing. So I feel like whatever choice is being offered to you, it can lead to a lot of success. But you have to know inside what you really want, if it feels right to you. Because you have the potential with the Nine of Cups to get your wish fulfilled. And so if you're looking for like a great job opportunity or even a good a romantic connection, I feel both things are possible. You have the King of Swords here in your negative thinking sector. Now, the King of Swords can be your energy trying to be like you're trying to make a decision and not let your heart rule your head. Because the King of Swords just wants to know the facts. You know, OK, let me look at things realistically, logically, what makes more sense I'm not going to let my heart tell me what to do. I'm going to go by, this looks, this is, you know, he's trying to figure out what's real. He's trying to separate the wheat from the chafe. Now, also, the king could, if it doesn't represent you and the energy that you're, that you're trying to, that you're having to tap into right now, it can represent a, an authority figure that you feel has been really harsh with you. Maybe you feel like, hey, I'm, I'm really working my butt off and this person is not, you know, they're just being hard with me. They're not going to cut me any slack. Um, and so you may be feeling weary about this. I feel like there's some toxic element to your work environment where you have you may have a difficult boss. The Four of Swords is in your environment. You may need rest. Maybe you need to take time off to just rest and heal. Because you've been under a lot of stress. I feel like you've been really, they've, they've been demanding a lot from you. And you're just exhausted. And then you have the, now the Four of Swords, you, you do need to take time out to heal and to rest. But I feel like, and if you might, you might already have been doing that. But there's going to come a time in the next few weeks where you're going to have to 
come back to life. Like, okay, I've rested and now I'm going to ready, ready to take action. Um, you have the devil in your wish fulfillment. The devil card is a difficult card. It can represent a toxic relationship, a codependent type of relationship where you're doing all the giving to someone and they're not responding or reciprocating. It can mean some type of addiction is interfering in your success. Maybe you're obsessed with something. It could be, sometimes it could be drug or alcohol. Sometimes it could be a relationship that you're just like drawn to and you can't break free from. It could also be materialism. Are you too focused on money and not on am I happy? Because, you know, all the money in the world doesn't mean anything if you're not happy doing the work. I mean, you could get a job that pays you $2 million a year. But if you hate that job, it's going to be hell. So it's better to do work that you love, be in an environment where you feel love, than to just be do something just for the money. So don't let any kind of, don't let anyone who's trying to, I feel like this could be more of a relationship issue. Someone's trying to draw you in and pull you in and chain you. Um, you may have some type of, like a trauma bond with someone or some type of an addiction to a person that you have a hard time letting go of. And that's holding you back. You have the Nine of Pentacles as an outcome card. And that's, financially that's great because the, Nine of Pentacles, the woman in the Nine of Pentacles, she's in a good place financially. She has her house and she's able to pay her bills so everything, I feel like you focus a lot on work and finances, but now you're saying, okay, what good is having all these things if I have no one to share it with? So now you're going to turn your focus on love and relationship. So once you get your career settled, where you feel like, okay, I have money, I can pay my bills, I don't have to worry about money, I'm not scrambling, you know, I'm not like afraid of getting laid off, or I'm not afraid of, you know, that I need more money and I can't pay the bills. That's going to come to an end. I feel like you're going to have some type of career success that's going to help you financially. But then you're going to be thinking about love and relationship. Okay, who's in my life? What do I need for relationship? And this woman, she's very independent. So if you're changing jobs around this time or if there's an opportunity that comes up, it will be something where you can be very work independently, where they just trust you to do your job and they don't micromanage you. And basically, it's almost like you're doing your own thing. It could all, for some of you, it could even be um, starting your own business or being like an independent contractor where you're doing the work and you're getting paid, but you're not like, you, can, you have a lot more freedom. You can determine your schedule. You can, do, you can work from home. You can work from a coffee shop. You can wear whatever you want. I mean, there's a lot of freedom in this card because you're in charge. There's a hawk in the card. So that represents a message coming. So you're going to be receiving a message soon. And I think it's going to be a happy message, a message that brings success and victory, especially in career. But there's an underlying theme that's also going through this reading about a relationship that you have a hard that you're having a hard time breaking free from because the person has a strong hold on you. There it could be a, it could be um, you know, very um, a very strong physical attraction, chemistry, you know. Sometimes you meet people and you just, you don't know why, but you can't break free of them. They're just like, you keep getting drawn to this person. You break away, you keep getting drawn back, you break away, you keep getting drawn back. So you have to look at that and choose the person that's going to give you, you know, because the lovers and the devil are very similar. Well, maybe not so much in this deck, but in the Rider Weight deck, they're both two people that are chained together. You know, in the devil, they're chained by their desires. In the lovers, it's more of a soul union. So this is what you're looking for. You're looking for the lovers, the soul union. You don't want the toxic tie. So you may have to take a break from someone that's been draining your energy so that you could find this love and be open to that. Because I think it's possible. It's just that you're holding on to something because you're afraid that if I let go of this, I won't have anything else. Um, but you have to use your head because don't limit yourself. Uh, once you get your finances straightened out, your career straightened out, 
you're going to be focusing on love and focus on the higher octave of love. Don't focus on a toxic relationship. If someone's draining you or it's, you feel that they're manipulating you or there's like some type of codependency or some type of addiction, you need to cut them loose and open yourself up to something that's healthier, that can give you real love. Um, so that's possible. And take the time to heal. Maybe you need to separate from someone. Take time to heal before you rush into a new thing. But in any case, just give yourself all the time you need. You Don't give up on, you know, don't say, well, I'm going to settle for this because I can't get anything else. Don't do that. Say, I want to, I'm not going to settle. I'm going to get what I deserve. And I'm going to focus on that. And I'm not going to give anyone else the time of day. If they don't give me what I deserve, they're not going to be in my life. Simple as that. But success is coming and change is coming. So hold on to that thought. Change for the better. But it will involve choices. It will involve leaving something behind to move on to something better. Okay, let's see what the angels have to say to Scorpio. Judgment. Can't get these cards. Let go of your fear of being judged. You are good enough. It is time to unlock all that you have kept safely locked away in your heart. Your true essence and potential has been restricted by structure and method for long enough. There's no right or wrong way. Just be you. So there you have it. Sometimes we judge ourselves more than anyone else. You know, we think um, we have that imposter syndrome where we think we're not good enough. We keep trying and doing and whatever. But you're not a human doing. You're a human being. Um, so do what's best for you. Make choices that are going to bring you joy. And know that you are enough, that you are worthy of love and praise and respect and success, just like everyone else. And it will come to you. Focus on the positive and you will attract that energy in return. So I'm going to leave it here, Scorpio. If you enjoyed this reading, click on the like button, click on the subscribe button, leave me a comment. If you'd like a private reading, click on the link in the description box. It will take you to my website and we can get you scheduled. In the meantime, thank you everyone for supporting this channel. I love you all and I will talk to you again soon. Okay, bye now.